Matthew 21, 2 through 3, and 6 through 8. Go into the village over there, he said. As soon as you enter it, you will see a donkey tied there with his colt beside it. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you are doing, just say the Lord needs them, and he'll immediately let you take them. The two disciples did as Jesus commanded. They brought the donkey and the colt to him, and threw their garments over the colt, and he sat on it. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. I ate, I have donkey. Matthew 26, 14 through 16. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve disciples, went to the leading priests and asked, How much will you pay me to betray Jesus to you? And then gave him thirty pieces of silver. From that time on, Judas began looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. Matthew 26, 27 through 28. And he took a cup of wine and said, and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them and said, each of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It's poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Mark 14, 32 through 34. They went to the olive grove called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, sit here while I go and pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became deeply troubled and distressed. He told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. In my egg, there are praying hands. Ten one. Then had Pilate had Jesus flogged with a lead-tipped whip. I have a whip. Peter swore a curse on me if I'm lying. I don't know this man you're talking about. And immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Suddenly, Jesus' words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny three times that you even know me. And he broke down and wept. And in the sixth eighth, I got a rooster. Matthew 27, 27 through 29. Some of the governor's soldiers took Jesus into their headquarters and called the entire regiment. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. They wove thorn branches into a crown and placed it on his head. And they placed a reed stick into his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt onto the ground in mockery and taunted, Hail, King of the Jews! In our little egg, we have the crown of thorns. John nineteen sixteen through 18. Then Pilate turned to Jesus over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus away, carrying the cross by himself. He went to a place called the Place of the Skull in Golgotha. There, they nailed him to the cross. Two others were cru uh, crucified with him on either side, with Jesus between them. Inside of my egg, I have a nail. John 1942 to 44. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the two men, crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. So they didn't break his legs. One of the soldiers, however, pierced his side with a spear. And immediately blood and water flowed out. A few 27. 57 through 60. As the evening approached, Joseph, a rich man from Arimathea, who had become a follower of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. And Pilate issued an order to release it to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a long sheet of clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb, which had been carved out of which had been carved out of the rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance and left. It's time to open up the egg. Yeah. 
It is, uh, I think this is the linen cloth that, um, this represents the linen cloth that Jesus was wrapped in. Matthew 28, 2 to 4. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Matthew 28, 5 through 6. Then the angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you're looking for Jesus, who is crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And my egg. There's nothing in there. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Happy Easter!